and now at 1500 meters elevation to be honest I don't know uh, where the top of the pass sits I have a flashing light ABS it's not supposed to do that Thank you, see you soon! Good morning, internet! It is uh, 9 o'clock in the morning and uh, welcome back to the channel. I've just come, uh, well, welcome, welcome here in Anchorage in Alaska. I was staying with uh, Bill, Bill and Christine. Bill has been working on uh, Alaska, getting her ready for the last stretch north. The weather <laughs> is not good. I was planning to ride about 400 k's today. It says here 258, but that's not actually my entire planned route. But I think I'll let it depend on the weather a little bit, what makes sense to do or not. Basically, I'm heading towards a place called uh, Tal Talkitna, I think it's called. And well, Talkitna is um, in the area of Denali, which is the highest mountain of North America. So of course I'm going to check that out. I've had uh, quite some glorious weather in Alaska, but of course it couldn't stay like that all the time. Before I'm going to leave Anchorage, I, I have to show you this. I came here the other day when I just got to Anchorage the first time. With uh, Chris, we went here and uh, I, all I could think was, I need to come back and film here. Expecting mothers and young families. Oh. It's going to blow your mind, or at least I just kind of walked around with my mouth open the entire time. So, <laughs> are you ready <laughs> for a true Alaskan experience? All right, this is only in Alaska. So, as you walk into the store, the first thing you see, these are right at the entrance. Look at these. These are all real. So this is the entrance and then that's the store. And then you think, okay, two, uh, well, I don't call them stuffed animals, two moose at the entrance. But that's not it. Have a look at this. It's, it's absolutely crazy. See, on each of these pillars, there's a deer head. See that? On the pillars on the other side as well. And then they have black bears over there. They have polar bears over there. Keep in mind, all of this is real. These are real dead animals. Stuffed stuffed animals, I don't know how, to, how you call them. Two brown bears. Four Dal sheep, four musk ox, and then four mountain goats. Then have a look at this. This is inside the store. Then they have foxes, all sorts of deer. Look at that. Caribou, bear. Then they have salmon in the shop. Look at this. These are, uh, these are, well, these are still alive. What do they have here? Some other, other fish. And then the stuffed animals continue on this way. So when Chris and I were in the shop the first time, one of the employees told us that there's eight million dollars worth of all these animals eight million dollars just as decoration in the shop all right and now see, so this is all like proper alaskan this is the fishing section 
I'm now walking to the gun section. I don't know if they'll allow me to film. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. More guns, more guns, and guns, and then more guns, more guns. These are serious guns with like scope and everything. Look at that. So yeah, pretty big uh, gun section. Look at this. Oh, stocks are low. They're being sold out. And then above the guns, you see more animals. There's loads of wolf. I don't know if you can see that here. These you can see. Look at the wolves there on the top. All real. And right now, I'm walking in an aisle full of bullets. See? <laughs> How many rounds? How many rounds? Yeah. 350 rounds, 380 rounds. It's it's all bullets everywhere. Look. How many do you want? This is all bullets as well. Just next to I don't know a mos mosquito net <laughs> to keep your guns locked up. Look how the size of these safes. See, they're meant to you know, put your guns in there. See all the handguns go on the inside there. Unreal. And then buffalo on the heads of buffalo sticking out of the wall. Look, and then look at that. Some bears hanging on the wall. Two bears. Some more heads. And uh, I don't know what you're supposed to do with this. Hunting stuff? Oh, long, long range rifle case. This is all the hunting. Oh my god, look at this. Look at it. Just. Guns? Or what is this? What are they? Rifles. Pellet rifles. Yeah. And then a tree in a shop with a stuff there so yeah do you get my point <laughs> so except for there were two belugas hanging from the ceiling and three sea lions they, they are fake but other than those, everything is real. Um, also the airplane that's hanging from the ceiling is real. But yeah, anyway, we look at this in Europe. The closer I get to the mountains, the worse the weather is getting. As expected, the weather is not much better up here. I'm now at the beginning of uh, Hatcher's Pass and uh, visibility is poor and it's raining so let's see how I get on I'm now at 1500 meters elevation to be honest I don't know uh, where the top of the pass sits but I think I'll still have uh, quite some climbing to do just gonna take it easy it's just uh, kind of half paved uh, compact gravel I'd say the road's pretty good so far so let's see it is really green up here though my goggles I don't just don't like riding with my visor because the rain and the fog oh, this is nice some 
nice wet goggles. The moment he is sitting on the back of my helmet. Anyway. Oh, is this the top of the pass already? No way. Is it? Oh, it is! Elevation. 3,886 feet then. Oh, so this is the top. Top of the pass already. Oh, I don't know how the other side's gonna be, but I was expecting like a, a full on uh, pass and climb, but it's actually really short. Some snow up here. This is more like the Alaskan weather that I uh, saw coming. I've been so spoiled recently. But uh, yeah, I have a feeling that uh, getting up north towards the Arctic Ocean, past the Arctic, like riding within the Arctic Circle, I uh, am very likely to encounter loads of this type of weather. So. Better, uh, better get used to it. I'm trying to wipe the lens of my camera, so I'm hoping that you can, you can see something. But to be honest, I don't really see much myself. So. super high but the visibility I'm just now descending into a cloud on the other side take a bit easy until the visibility gets a bit better. Uh, I think I'm gonna put my extra uh, rain jacket on to keep uh, myself a little drier and warmer as well. Maybe I should have done it a bit earlier but hey. I was of course optimistic so inside out. <laughs> I am so well prepared, it's scary. Try that again. It looks actually quite cool with the clouds down below. I was hoping that maybe if the pass would be high enough, I would ride above the clouds. But there, that does not seem to be the case. I think there's a mountain behind there. I think. I have a flashing light. ABS. It's not supposed to do that. On. Well, I'll just keep going. It's probably nothing. Maybe some water got somewhere. I have no idea. Who needs ABS anyway, right? Especially on dirt. Oh, it is pouring, pouring, people. It is not good. 
So the ABS light went back from flashing at some point. So first it was flashing, then I switched the engine off, switched back on, and it stayed on, and now it's back to flashing again. Sorry, I'm standing at a really noisy place, but I'm just uh, underneath this uh, overhang. I'm just gonna ring Bill. It's probably nothing, but hey, now I actually have <laughs> a good mechanic. Thank you for choosing AT&T Hey Bill, <laughs> um, I, I have a question. Uh -huh. I'm now uh, right at the turn off to uh, Talkeetna and just okay. uh, just after I came over the Hatcher's Pass, um, suddenly my ABS light started flashing no. um, and then I switched off the engine, switched it back on, then the ABS light stayed on and at some point it went, went back to flashing. Um, okay. it's surely it's nothing, but... It's nothing. So what it's telling you is, is that ABS controller is not getting a signal from either the front wheel or the wheel, rear wheel tone things. Yeah. It doesn't mean that you don't have brakes. It just means that when it's flashing or it's on, it just says your ABS is not functioning. Okay. So, nothing to worry about then, right? It's nothing to worry about. Okay, great. No, that's what I thought, but I thought, you know what, I'm just going to ask you, <laughs> just in case. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad you did, so it's, I'll put that on the list too, but yeah. I, I usually take them off of my bikes to ABS, I get rid of them, because I'm just not an ABS guy. Yeah, that's what I thought, I, I don't need it anyway on dirt, um, no, and no. even on tar, you can ride easily without, but uh, yeah. okay, perfect. All right, great. You know, I, um, not really. <laughs> I'm. Uh, it, yeah, it's boring. But I'm gonna skip on uh, riding those tracks um, in front of the Nali because there is no point. You can't see anything, and it's just boring. Yeah, I, I, I would, I would suggest that you stay close to the road and don't go on those trails because. Uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, and I'll see for tomorrow. But if the weather is like this tomorrow, I'm not gonna go up the Denali Highway because there's also there's no point. You you won't even be able to see the mountains or anything. So. No, and it's really muddy and slick. Yeah, exactly. So if it's like this tomorrow, I'm just gonna head north and keep going north. Okay, I think that's a great idea. I did a 10-day weather check for Fairbanks and. And all the way, all the way points north, and you're you look more like you're in rain for your entire trip. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, yeah. Then it just means no extra detours, and just make it up to uh, Prudhoe Bay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Knock that out. Come on back. Get dry. And yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Okay. Well, great, thank you so much for uh, confirming and um, have fun today. All right, man. Stay dry. Thank Stay you, dry. thanks, bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs> it just makes me feel a bit more comfortable that he confirms it. I'm cold, it's wet, it's pretty miserable to be honest. <laughs> so I am just gonna um, continue right to Talkeetna. Um, see if I can eat something there, warm up, and I'm gonna stay the night there. So it's only, I think, 50 kilometers from here. No less, probably, 25 or so. So today is not the day to go uh, explore trails. Let's just get somewhere warm. I found a place to stay. So I am uh, drying all my gear now. Hopefully it will dry quickly. The inside of my helmet got a little bit wet as well because I was riding with my uh, goggles. So with my gear drying, I will show you on the map uh, where I am and what the plan was. And well, I don't know. I think I have to come up with a new plan for the coming rides. I'm now in Talkeetna over here. 
So I didn't really make a lot of progress coming from Anchorage. Anyway, I, I so I left here. Then I wrote the pass. It's not even indicated. Somewhere here, I think. In the, I passed Independence Mine. And then followed the road. And then came up here. And then my plan was to ride to Trapper Creek over here. And then explore over here. Ride some trails. But then because of the weather, I decided to go straight to Talkeetna. This is kind of a dead end. So to get out of here, I have to backtrack. So that means in the next ride, I'm gonna again pass that Trapper Creek area. So I do have a second chance to ride those trails and hopefully have a view on the mountain Denali. So in the next ride, I was planning to go here and then ride the Denali highway to somewhere halfway. But now I realize if, if this weather, like if this weather system is gonna continue and it's gonna be like this, all the way up north, then I, I am not going to do it. There's just no point because it's all about the mountain views. And, you know, with weather like this, the visibility is so poor, you can't see anything. And it's just really wet and cold and, yeah, not really fun at all. So let's see. Um, I'll just I'll just take it as it goes and depending a little bit uh, on the weather and stuff. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm now really heading up north and the choices of roads... Yeah, it just gets very limited until there's only one road left, which is the Dalton Highway, which uh, is it this one? Yeah, so that's this one. It's the only maintained road that goes all the way up here to the Arctic Ocean. That's the only way. I'll just be making my way up past Fairbanks and then bam, onto the Dalton Highway. And yeah, I think here in Alaska, the weather just makes and breaks everything and it just changes so rapidly. And it's the weather here really is a force to, to reckon with, especially up in the mountains. So I guess today is just a little bit of a shorter video than I wanted to make. But yeah, I just didn't really get the riding <laughs> that I wanted to. But uh, it is what it is and I have to respect the weather gods. So that was it for today. I really hope you still like this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and then I'll see you in the next video.